Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Last time, a doctor by the name of Dr. Gray asked us to uh, come with him to Karain Village because, um, you know, he's trying to clear his name for something that happened at his clinic a year ago where 14 patients died and then a nurse who appeared to be the cause of it ended up dead in a car accident so yeah we went with him and we met Maya and her cousin Pearl and her aunt Morgan you know just throwing those names out there and a lot of heart showed up but yeah anyway um she was going to channel the spirit of the nurse and the doctor was going to use like that to clear his name you know have the spirit write a confession and so they went into the channeling chamber in Maya's house where the uh, channeling was going to uh, happen. Then we heard gunshots, broke down the door, and saw that uh, Dr. Gray was lying in a pool of his own blood, presumably dead. And Maya was standing over him with blood on her and just, she, she seemed possessed. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Today we're following up with that because, wow, it's getting real, yo. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And they're on their way. That's good. Loud, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. All right, let's, let's talk it out. What you witnessed. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lada doesn't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? Okay. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Right, let's talk about Dr. Gray. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. Soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. I... Okay, well, nice talk, Lada. Um, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> let's let's move to the meditation room. Why not? Police are on their way. You know, we made a call. That's all we could do. Ah, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. Ah. <sighs> the police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again. What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? Also, that was quick. I mean, you know, we just made the call. Now he's here two hours later? Huh. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shoe? <laughs> uh, my name isn't Jim Shoe. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Alright, well, we talked to, uh, Lada, so... Uh, winding way? And all the way to the side room? Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Still looks like there is. Alright, like, how can I help you? <laughs> okay, then. Ack! I, I'm, uh, that is, I... Oh my god, I gotta do a valley girl voice. <laughs> okay, um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh! Uh, no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please, stay calm, but a murder has taken place. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah, for all that effort, that's all she had to say. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Any Minnie. Oh, God. Any Minnie. Oh, my. No. No. Um, I, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Or would it be Miney? Any Miney? Any Miney? I know it's Any Mini Miney, Mo, so. Oh, right, yeah, it's probably Miney then. Any Miney. Okay. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, Usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm pretty sorry, attorney at law. Let's check out your profile. <laughs> Just check it out everybody's profile. Why not? There there's gumshoe. We 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 saw him before. You know. Any miney, a college student, a huge fan of the occult and is doing research in parapsychology. She weirds me out. <laughs> okay, any miney. So what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause like, talking to dead people and like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. Then why are you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm like, allergic to sesame seeds. They like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I like, felt sick and came here to like, sleep. I totally feel like I wasted my time cause I like, slept a long time. What happened? So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that? I, like, totally know nothing. So who's, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. Sorry, my mind's just working in mysterious ways right now. Hmm. I'm going to stay quiet on my suspicions about everything that's going on here, but... Yeah, because stuff's beginning to click. Because in the little, like, channeling thing... I mean, you know, that's... I mean, not channeling thing, but, like, the thing at the beginning of this... Like, at the chapter, the little opening scene, there was something that said, any? And it was, like, a question. So I thought they were trying to say, like, isn't it or in it or something, but that's her first name. And she falls asleep with ses when she eats sesame seeds. I and then the whole thing about drugging, I mean, Grant, that's dramatic irony on the player's part that we would even know what happened, like, during that cutscene, but... I don't know. Uh, anyway, the victim. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? 
Whoa, that was a reaction. I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? That's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah? She sounds like she's trying to hide something. But I can't question her further. Can I present profiles to people to, like, ask questions? I'm, like, totally better at remembering people's names. Oh. But I, like, remember seeing that face somewhere before. Like, I think... Well, thanks for trying. I didn't think it was possible for someone to be this much of an airhead. Okay, then, well, it looks like uh, my business here is done. I can't really present much, and you're not going to talk about anything else. Ooh, something happened to a winding way. There is no one here, as usual. Ack! Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm. Silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Um. Ah, crap. I shouldn't have said anything. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough. Okay, then, well, let's move on from that strange little girl. Because we haven't gone into the channeling chamber yet. But why does she have the key to the channeling chamber? I'm curious. The police are busily running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you. Don't touch anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um... Don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright. Alright then. Let's talk about Maya. Um, about Maya. I had to break this to you, pal. But, but the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. I mean, he's trying his best. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. Ooh. But. But. But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. Well then, so much for my theory! A, a knife? After being stabbed, final blow was a shot from a gun. Well, that's brutal! Holy crap! Uh, hope you don't mind if I examine. Hey pal, no touching without my permission. I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect now, can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. I mean, you, you say, you know, you gotta be careful with a murder suspect like her, but... She's already been a murder suspect, I'm just saying. I don't know, I don't have anything to present to you, so let's just leave. I wonder if Pearl will reset in Winding Way. She does. Hey, the item in your hand. Um. Okay. So she's always going to run no matter what. Is there anybody else I can talk to? Oh, something's changing out here. Okay. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right near her. Lotta? Go! 
What? Wait. Okay. God, don't laugh at me next! Eat! Don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Okay, then. You got anything new to talk about? Yeah, any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Me and the cult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm going to try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after a photo is more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, yeah. W what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, she did too even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. L Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. <laughs> okay, then. I don't know who's scarier, Lada or the spirits. And why does it feel like we've been through this before? <laughs> because you have. Because you have. Oh, back to the meditation room. Oh, dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. Oh, okay, we're, we're just getting right into it. All right. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. And yet you somehow did. Yay. Yeah. Morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. All right. N Nick. Nick. I. Maya. What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it. The first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Well, let's talk it out, Maya. Let's talk. About channeling. So you're the master of something of the Korean School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real. That it's all just an act. I mean, is it really an act when your body changes when you're doing it? I mean, you believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling the spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. And it just so happens that everybody she channels is a big-chested woman for some reason. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Grace said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. Alright, what happened, Maya? 
What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went to that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes and I began channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy. Like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself. My consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? And what was this dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There's a really familiar smell too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person. With these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When's the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait! This jewel. This is called a... Magitama. It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magitama received from Maya. Alright then. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end things off now for today. Next time we start the investigation proper. Because, yeah. Like, I, I, just, I just really want to see what, what, like, you know, just get to the bottom of this. Because this is this some interesting junk, you know? Interesting junk. Dr. Gray is dead. Maya is suspect. Well, the prime suspect. And, uh, yeah, apparently he was more than just shot. He was shot and stabbed. So, next time we're going to investigate and hopefully get to the bottom of things. Or at least lay the groundwork we need to get to the bottom of things once the trial actually starts. So yeah, uh, this part might be sub 30 minutes, but what you gonna do? So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney does this for all. <gasps> Goodbye.